And we're back. You're listening to Black Talk Radio News with Scotty Reed. And my guest tonight is attorney Michael Core joining us from Philadelphia. Um, as I was just listening to that clip, Brother Michael, before we get into how the Sanford Police Department is further victimizing Trayvon Martin, I was just listening to that clip. I play it quite often about uh, Malcolm X talking about the power of the of the news media to make the American public hate a country or love a country, hate a people, love a people. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's relevant in Trayvon Martin's case and all these cases where young black men are being murdered because the media and even and our own so-called media, uh, our entertainment media with, with these uh, gangster videos and stuff, it demonizes black males and make us look like less than human yes, and yes. something to be feared. And do you feel like that, you know, play could have played a role in this as well? Uh, how George Zimmerman was able to callously look at Trayvon Martin and, and, and not even consider, you know, this young man, look at him as a young man with his life ahead of him? Oh, I mean, no doubt about it. I mean, everything you see in the news and much of what you see in movies and even in music, the young black male is a threat, is a danger, is a either criminal or potential criminal. So for George Zimmer, if you and I had seen Trayvon, we would have seen him as, hey, that kid looks like my son. Hey, that kid looks like my nephew. Hey, that kid looks like one of my students. Hey, that kid looks like a guy who plays on my basketball team. He would have been a, just a human being, youngster, had you seen him, had I seen him. But for George Zimmerman, he wasn't a student. He wasn't a nephew. He wasn't a kid on the basketball team. He was a danger. He was a predator. He was either a criminal or a potential criminal. And I don't want to use profanity on your show because I don't want to get you in trouble, but even when you listen to the 911 thing, one of the things that George Zimmerman said was really telling. He said, quote, these a-holes always get away, unquote. The, bro, brother Michael, what it's the, internet radio, so we're not regu- re- <laughs> excuse me, regulated like you guys are through the public airways. I got you. I, I got you. <laughs> but for him to say these assholes always get away, who are these assholes? He didn't know what Trayvon's Martin name was. He didn't know anything about Trayvon Martin except that he was a young black male. So that's who these assholes are. So if these assholes are young black men who are, in Zimmerman's mind, criminals or potential criminals, then I, George Zimmerman, as a wannabe cop, I got to stop these assholes from getting away. So I'm going to ignore what the police dispatcher told me when he said to me, are you following him? Yes, I'm following him. Hey, stop that. We don't need you to do that. I'm going to ignore that. The fact that I'm in my car, I'm going to get out of my car. The fact that I'm away from uh, Trayvon, I'm going to get up in his face. I'm The fact that he's on his phone, I don't care that he's on his phone talking to his girlfriend. I'm going to confront him and do a citizen's arrest. Why? Was he committing a crime? No, but he was just a black male, and he had a gun, or he had a knife, or he had drugs. We find out he didn't have a gun. He didn't have a knife. He didn't have drugs. He had Skittles and an iced tea. So getting back to your point, Scotty, Trayvon Martin was not a human being, was not a child to George Zimmerman. Trayvon Martin was a criminal, an asshole who was not going to get away this time, and that's why he's dead. And, you know, I use the term murdered because technically that's the legally precise term for what happened to Trayvon. But realistically, Scotty, he wasn't just murdered. He was lynched. When white folks killed black folks in the past simply because those black folks were black, that was a lynching. But even beyond lynching, it was like an assassination. Why? An assassination is a political killing. 
and George Zimmerman was making a political statement by killing Trayvon Martin because it wasn't personal. George Zimmerman didn't kill Trayvon Martin because it was Trayvon Martin. He was going to kill any black male who mm -hmm. was there under those circumstances, whether the name was Scotty Reed, Michael Court, or Barack Obama. It didn't matter. There was one of these assholes who was about to get away, but damn it, I'm going to stop him. I'm going to catch him, and I'm going to shoot him, and I'm going to be a hero. That's exactly what happened. i got to tell you, Scotty, as a criminal defense attorney, and I do most of my cases involving violent crimes, most of them homicides, and sadly, and i got to admit, sadly, many young black men carrying guns, shooting and killing other young black men. Scotty, I am so happy, ecstatic even, that Trayvon did not have a gun. Because if he had a gun... Even if the gun was hidden in his backpack and unloaded, that mm -hmm. would have been all the excuse mm -hmm. that the racist system needed. But he didn't have a gun because he didn't carry a gun because he was a good kid, an AP student in the 11th grade, planning to become an aviation mechanic.